Morning Fostube, welcome to my channel. My name is Darren. If you are a returning viewer, then thank you very much for returning. Um, if you are new to my channel, then I hope you like what you see. And if you do, please feel free to subscribe. Um, so today I'm gonna go through uh, what I've been working on this week. Um, also, I've got a couple of shout outs that I want to do as well. And I also got some uh, stitchy kindness as well. Uh, first of all though, I just want to say, um, I hope all, all there can't speak today. I hope everybody who lives in California are safe and well. Obviously, they're not having a good time at the moment uh, with all the fires. It's been all over the news over here, um, and it's been showing some um, of the streets where the fires have been put out, and they're completely devastated. Um, so yeah, my heart goes out to those. Um, I kind of know what it feels like, obviously, from being over here with all our bushfires that we had in. Uh, the beginning of the year so yeah so my heart goes out to those so if you are in California then please stay safe um, and look after yourselves so um, first of all um, I just want to thank everybody who wished me a happy birthday so I'm obviously one of the lucky ones because obviously being born in the UK means I get my birthday over the two days so my birthday was yesterday the 18th uh, but obviously in the UK, that doesn't start till like nine, ten o'clock in the morning here. Um, so it goes over onto Saturday, which is today. So technically, it's still my birthday. Yay! Two days. <laughs> uh, so uh, first of all, I'm going to go through uh, my stitch kindness that I uh, got given. Now I didn't know you could do this, but someone went onto my wish list on Hade and um, sent me two new designs to do. Um, so I'll show you what I've been given. So the first one I got is um, artwork by, I'm going to say this completely wrong, Ciro Machetti, probably wrong, it's called A Magical Moment in Time and it will be this one. So I really like that one. And I really want to start that one as well. <laughs> so that was the first one I got. I actually got two. And the second one I got is by Anne Stokes. And it's called Snow Dragon. And it's this picture. I really want to start that one too. <laughs> so thank you very much for those. Um, you know you all got those for me. Um, so I didn't know you could actually go into people's wish lists and actually purchase stuff for them. Um, or something new I found out the other day. So, so yeah, so two more to add to my collection. So that's a couple more I want to start. <laughs> um, now, before I get into the stitching, I'm just going to do a couple of shout outs. I hope you guys don't mind. Now, there are a few. Um, I've been catching up on Flosstube and obviously it keeps bringing up new people. So these are all new people to me. Some of them may have been going for a little while. Um, so the first one is um, a person called Tia, who's over in uh, Australia. She actually doesn't live far from me. Um, and her channel is called Calm Creations. I think that's right. Um, now she has some um, lovely work going. Um, she's got a couple of full coverages, a couple of like samplers and stuff like that. Uh, but she also does um, finishing as well. And she's done, she shows on her last video a couple of, I think it was three finishes that she'd done. And she's done them all on like easels. And they look really, really good. So I told her she's going to have to teach me how to do some finishing. So those two pieces that I've already got, I can get finished <laughs> at some point. Um, so yeah, so that's Calm Creations. Again, I'll put a link down to all these uh, down below. Um, the next one is um, a person from the UK called Lorraine. Um, and her channel, I may pronounce this wrong, Lorraine, so I do apologise, is LNS Crafts. Um, now, she does a couple of different things on there. So it's not just stitching, she does some crafting as well. So she does knitting, uh, crochet, um, she's done some stuffed animals. Um, but I've got to say, normally when it comes to knitting, I generally skip past those parts because that's not what I'm into. Um, 
but I found myself intrigued by her her knitting that she'd done. Um, she's got a really nice soft voice as well, so it kind of just draws you in. And um, she's done a couple of shawls, and she's doing one at the moment out of this like really thin, fluffy material, and it's got dandelions and that in it, and it looks really, really good. Um, so I was kind of intrigued by all that one. Um, and she's doing a couple of, um, she started a new piece, it's Seahorses. I can't remember who it's by, um, but it's really bright colours. Um, and she only started in that long since, and she's making really good progress on it. Um, so yeah, go check her out as well. She's uh, got some really good stuff on there. So if you like your knitting and your crochet as well, she goes through a couple of stuff like she's done on those. Um, <clears throat> next one is um, another Australian um, called Gail Phillips, and that's the name of her channel as well. Um, and she does some uh, really cool work as well. So she's got a variety of different projects on the go. Um, now she's done one piece, which is, um, I think it's hard, Daniel. Um, and she's been working on that one for a bit. And I think she recently finished it on her last video. Um, and that looks absolutely amazing. Uh, it makes me now want to try looking at some kind of stitching with like the hard danger or specialty kind of stitches in there. So she's really awesome as well. So um, go check her out. Um, I've got three more, so I apologize guys. And uh, the next one is Creativity by Gitch. Um, now she is really, really good. She's doing no new starts for this year. Um, so she's waiting for 2001 to come around um, so she can get loads of new projects started that she's got. She's itching to start them, you can tell. Um, now she's got um, some really good uh, pieces on the go at the moment as well. And the good thing with her channel is she actually signs as well as speaks. So for anyone who's um, hard of hearing, then she's really good. Now she's over in USA or Texas, one of them, I can't remember. Which is in one of those anyway. Um, so yeah, she's really good as well. And she's a really lovely person. So that's another one I recommend going to watch. Um, next one is a new Floss Tuber. She's only got one video out, out so far. Her name is Lauren. And her channel is called Floss Abilities. Uh, she's from the UK. Um, and she's doing a, a few full coverage pieces as well. Now, at the moment, I think she says she's only going to upload like once a month. Because um, what she's doing is she likes to try and complete a full row of each piece um, during the month. So she'll do a complete row and then she'll move on to the next one. I think that's how she says she's going to do it. Uh, but she's got some really nice pieces on the go there as well. I think she shows it's four pieces, I think, that she's working on at the moment. Uh, and they are really stunning. And then the last one is another person from the UK uh, called Angela. And her channel is called Stitching Brit. Um, and she's got some awesome pieces going uh, over there as well. She's got one which is um, John Bon Jovi. And that piece looks absolutely amazing. Um, now, I haven't watched all the videos yet. She's got about 10 on the 10 videos, I think, so far. Um, so I've only, I saw one and then started working my way up from the bottom. So I don't know if she's got that Bon Jovi one finished yet. Um, but she's got some really nice pieces on there. She's discovered heaven and earth as well. So she's doing a couple of story keeps and uh, trying out some 20 count um, pieces on there as well. So highly recommend watching her as well. So that's all the shout outs I've got. So thank you very much guys for letting me do that. Right, so uh, now I'll get into uh, what I've done this week. So in no particular order, yet again, as you know me, uh, first thing I'll show, excuse me, is, um, as you know, I do work on my uh, Snowman Ball Ball Kit um, on the Sunday mainly when I'm on the phone with my mum. So I was working on the back piece and I've now finished the back piece. Now I was looking at how to put it all together and I do need to stitch the outline of the dome. So I finished that one. So I've just got the outside of this one to do and then I can put it all together it doesn't look too hard to put together um, I just need to get some double-sided tape according to this and that will do so hopefully next week I might have that one finished so there's not much to go on there's just that back stitching on the front part and that's it so right so I've had two new starts this week um, 
So, excuse the rustling, I put them in the bags so up, the material came in. <laughs> so the first one, I started this on the 15th. This is on 28 count easy guide, and I'm doing it uh, two over one tenth stitch. And it's artwork by Jan Patrick Crancy, and it's my Waterhole Guardians, which is this one. So I decided to make a start on that one. So, on this one I put in 546 stitches. So, I made a bit of a start. So, I always start in the top left hand corner of the piece. So, this is where I've got to on there so far. So, again, I'm just colour completing per page on this one. So, this was the first colour that I pulled out. There's still a bit more of this one to go. It goes all the way down here. Um, so, that's that one. So, I really enjoyed doing that. So, I say it's on 28 count easy guide. 2 over 1 10 stitch. And I do like, as I said in my other one, the coverage that you get on the 28 count doing the 10 stitch. It really fills the... I mean, I don't know if you can see that properly, but it really does fill the squares in. So it's a lot better than it is doing it on the 25 count. So I think that's going to be my go-to in the future on the 28 count. I'm really enjoying working on that one. So that's that one. And as always, you can never fold them up how they come out of the packet. Uh, the next one is also another new start. Now, as you remember, I got those fabrics uh, sent to me by a good friend. Um, so I thought, I wonder if I can actually use any of these for any of my other patterns. And it turns out I can. Um, so this one I started on the 16th of September. Um, this is on 28 count Monaco Lugana, which is the DMC fabric, which is this one. Now, uh, this piece is a bit, the fabric on this one is a lot thicker than the uh, Easy Guide, but I don't mind it, it's quite nice. Um, so this one I've started is not one that was chosen, uh, but I decided to start the beginner coming to a room, which is artwork by Jan Patrick Crancy again, which was this piece. So again, this is one of my oldest ones that I purchased, probably one of the first ones as well as the Warhol Guardian. So I decided to make a start on that one since that it would actually fit on here. So again, I've not got a big start on this one. Uh, 206 stitches. Now this is full cross um, on here, one over one. And that's the start that I've made on there. So this part, the black that you can see there is the top of the picture frame. So looking forward to getting to the, the dolphin and that and see what they, uh, what they actually turn out like on there. So yeah, so. Made a little bit of a start on that one. So, well, as I say, I'm enjoying working on this fabric. It is actually quite nice. So it's a bit thicker. And when you've got it in the Q-snap, it's really tight. So I'm enjoying that one. And then the next two are ones that I've already been working on. So the first one, I don't have the picture, typical, is my um, Super Size Tiger Family of the Jungle. Now, I'm sure you all remember what that one is. Um, I'll put a picture in of it so that you can see what it is. Um, now, I'll put a picture in of where it was last time. Now, I didn't get much work done on this one. I managed to put in 150 stitches um, this week. Um, but here we are now. So, on this one, I filled in a bit more of these park threads here. I've got one hanging down somewhere. Um, so yeah, I filled in some more of these park threads, so there's only a couple more left to do. And then I decided I wanted a bit more colour in there, so I started filling in a bit more of this wing. So I put some of the blue in there, I don't know if you can see that very clearly. So I put some more of the blue in on that one, so that was going to make that stand out a little bit more. So next time I work on this one again, I'll, feed, I'll try and finish these off and then maybe start working a bit more on this wing just to add a bit of something to look at other than the background. So I'm really enjoying this one now. So that one's coming along. So hopefully next time I can get a bit more work done on that. So this one is done on 25 count easy guide and I'm doing this one over one full cross. 
So I'm really enjoying that one. And then the last piece I worked on was my Mini Deer Creek, which is by Donna Kelsinger, uh, which is this one. I know if you remember last time working in this page here, trying to finish off the, uh, the dough. Now on this one, I'm obviously not very good at guessing. Um, I said last week that there was maybe about 2,000 stitches left to do in it. Nah. <laughs> More like maybe 4,000. Um, so I've put 2,331 stitches in it um, since last time. And this is a picture of what it looked like last time. And this is where we're at now. So let me just bring that in for you. Can't see. There you go. So I filled in more of the dough around here. As you can see, this part's coming in. This is the back. This part here is the back of this book. So I've got a lot more of this leaf and tree part coming in here as well. So I'm hoping this week to get this page finished and then move on to the, the final row. So I worked it out. I've got. Uh, 30,941 stitches left to do on this piece and I've got 10 weeks to do it. So that's just over 3,000 stitches a week I've got to go in this one. But it is doable, I think. So we'll see when we get down to the bottom because this part here has a going to have a lot of confetti in it, I can guess. Because that will be like this pine cone and leaves here. I'm sure there's going to be a fair bit of confetti in this one with all the leaves and the string. So we'll see how we go on that one, but hopefully the end is in sight. So that's all the pieces I actually worked on this week. Um, I've still got my bag of fuss. <laughs> I've not sorted all that out yet. I did start putting them on my thread drops last night and I managed to get one. <laughs> as soon as I pulled all the floss out, Tiger came over, sat on my knees, started playing with the floss. So I was like, okay, that's what. So that was all I got done on that one. <laughs> um, a couple of people have been sending me some stuff through on email um, with regards to what they're working on. Um, so I'm really enjoying looking at those pieces as well. So as I say, if you do want to share any of your projects or anything like that with me, then feel free to uh, drop me an email. Um, my email address is dizzystitcher at gmail.com. Um, I'll always link that at the end as well. Um, so feel free on that one. Um, so it doesn't matter if it's cross stitching, uh, knitting, crochet, the uh, needle point, whatever. Uh, I love seeing all the work. So feel free to do that. I'm going to say, as someone uh, mentioned in their email that they sent to me, again, they don't have any stitchy friends uh, and their husband uh, doesn't really take much attention of what they're doing. They just say, yeah, that's nice, that's nice. So it's always good to have a, an extra person that you can talk to, so feel free to do that one. Um, that's everything for that. Right, um, now, if you made it this far, uh, as you know, uh, last week I mentioned I'd hit my um, 1,000 subscriber and I was gonna do a giveaway. So what I'm gonna do is, um, because I don't have a lot of money, and I haven't really got any like fabric or anything like that to give away. What I've decided I'm going to do is um, I will buy one person a Heaven and Earth chart. So if you are interested in entering for this one, um, then feel free to um, just note down in the comments. Um, well, put Hade in your comments. So that's H-A-E-D. Um, so just mention that in your comments. And I will keep this going for two weeks. And then in two weeks' time, uh, we'll choose one lucky person, and then they can choose a design of their choice, uh, and I will buy that for them. Um, so it'll be sent through the rack, so that'll go through to your uh, email. So if you are interested in that, as I say, feel free to comment below. Um, just mention the word HAID in your uh, comments, so that's H-A-E-D. Um, please do not say giveaway, otherwise I will delete your comment, um, because there are too many trolls out there that... Uh, search for keywords. Uh, you must be over 18 um, as well, um, or if you are under 18, at least have parents' permission uh, to enter this. Um, 
Also as well, I do just want to apologize. Um, I don't know if anybody's ever noticed it on some of my videos. Uh, I keep getting spammed by some person or people, shall I say, I think it's a computer generated bloody um, search thing. Um, and it keeps popping up with random things like I love you, I need a boyfriend and all this lot. But the picture on there is really inappropriate. Um, it's of a naked lady. So as soon as I do see those, I do delete those. So if you do see that by any chance, I do apologize. Um, obviously that's the thing that happens nowadays. You just get spun by a lot of idiots. So um, again, if you have seen that on any of my videos, I do apologize, but I have removed them. As far as I'm aware, I've got all of them. Um, I have reported it as well to uh, YouTube. So hopefully I shouldn't get any more. Uh, but if I do, again, I will take those down, but you may see it pop up if you are looking at my comments. Um, so that's everything I've got to go through with you today. Um, so again, as I say, um, if you've got any questions or want to make any comments, please feel free to do so down below. Uh, you can email me at uh, dizzystitcher at gmail.com. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram. Uh, my handle handle on there is just Dizzy Stitcher, so quite easy to find. Um, again, uh, I'm off to get a haircut because it's getting a bit fuzzy. <laughs> um, so again, guys, stay safe. Happy stitching. Um, I am going to do my stitch with me this week. Um, that one is going to be on Castle Wolves, so I'm going to show you how I get all prepared and set up for doing that, and then I'm going to do some stitching on it. So that may be a, a, a longer stitch with me than normal, uh, because normally it's, a, it's about 45 minutes or so. Someone said I could do one for over two hours. Um, I don't think I'll be able to talk after two hours. <laughs> um, so yeah, so keep an eye out for that one. That one will probably be posted maybe Wednesday. Um, so again, stay safe guys. Um, look after each other and happy stitching and I'll catch you in my next video. Thanks for watching and bye bye for now.